Okay, well, I guess that means uh, La, La Esponja Grande is open. Oop. Yeah, alrighty. So, swim, 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 to the cave, to the cave. La Esponja Grande! Oh. I'll reach it eventually. The legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived Highland Siege, boarded countless enemies, seven, give or take, traveled the entrails of a manatee, and courted marine life all for this one moment. Yes. And. Oh, I thought it was the bigger. Yeah. It's kind of smallish. But, oh well, it's exactly what I needed. La Esponja Grande. And I am cured of the pox. Uh, eventually. Sucks it all right out of me. Haha. -ha. <coughs> no, it works. I feel better already. Awesome. Time to take La Esponja Pequeño to Elaine. La Esponja Pequeño. Uh. Yeah, obviously more Spanish, which I don't know. I'm trying to learn Russian, not oh, French, not I Spanish. We finally got it! We really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, I just gotta get back to her and... Um... Yeah. They're listening no. in. Huh? No, Dekava, it's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer! This is the end of the line! Really? Ah, Here that's why you need to take the, the picture out. I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. But what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... How? Gentlemen, these well, there's Moose, but not Noogie. Have a plan B. There's Moose, but no idea where Noogie is. Okay. Well, we're in cages. Again. So what's plan B? Very funny. Ow! Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. Yeah, I know. Well, anywho, I guess I better give her her sword back. Your sword! Thanks! It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. Alrighty. Got crown, got the balloons, got that. Oh, uh, let's see. Rope. If I could just reach that rope. Oh. Morgan! Can I reach the rope, rope can you holding reach my the cage? Rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the blade of Dragota can. Yes, it can. Huzzah! And shouldn't she fall down now? Alrighty. Come back with my sponge! You'll we must get after the Hello Monkey. Or my lady's love. Moose, bring me my prize. Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? Oh, right. Yeah, he's not exactly an intelligent guy. He forgot he? the sponge. Act him isn't, and bring her about. Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me But where's Noogie? Hey, Morgan, they forgot the sponge. <laughs> They're coming back. Do something, Guybrush! Uh, first things first. Yeah, first things first, grab the sponge. Uh, second thing... It is for me to shoot the cannon, and for you to surrender the sponge! Well... <clears throat> oh no, we put it on I the boot. throw it all the way. Uh, I should be able to throw it to the buoy. Right? I can't reach it. No, you can't. Arrgh. Let's see. Can't reach it, but maybe... Oh, no! Arrgh, it's been so long since I've done this part. Quarters door. Your first mate can't... Oh. Where do you think you're going? Yikes. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Hand over the sponge, or the manatees will forever mate over your corpse! You. Yikes. 
Well, let's see. Toss you down here. I shouldn't defile the seahorse head any more than I have to. But how do I get the manatee? Uh, don't freeze on me. Don't freeze on me. Uh, maybe I don't have to mind me at that. Calling a manatee to the rescue is the best idea I've had in minutes. But this won't work above water. And I can't get underwater, jerk. Oh yeah, the rubber tree. I There's forgot no I had a rubber tree. Like a rubber tree mast. Yay, that Quick, worked. Bring up another cannon from the hold. While he does that, I will shove a seahorse head in the cannon. Sorry, little buddy. Uh, that looks odd. He's resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Detritus. He's still hungry, fella. And yep, he's still hungry. There he is. There he is. There he is. Come up and get him, come up and get him. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that rubber tree mast. It always works. Manatee! Manatee! Yum, 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 yum. Like or Dude, like totally. Oh, I'm looking forward to that Icor man. Oh. Bye bye, Manatee. Now that I think about it, putting <coughs> that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. Yeah, it probably wasn't, but you know, you keep everything well, in your pockets. Threepwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Aww. Are they holding hands? Flippers, but yeah. Ah, how sweet. Hope you enjoyed your snack. Huh. Where do you think they're headed? I don't know. Wherever nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Aww. Yes, it is. Aww. But we had a moment, Morgan. Aww. Well, to be continued in Chapter 4, The Trial and Execution of Guybrush Streetwood. I hope you guys are enjoying this again. Uh, and there's Murray. How's it going, Murray? Wah! May your skull forever rest in the uh, manatee mating ground. You have a worse haircut than I do! Yeah, and he's, you know, talking about all the people there. Uh, Dan Connors there. Eric Parsons, all dressed up and no place to go. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, interesting little uh, after credit Close thing guy here. Guy again? Yeah. Animation? I need no animation. I live. <laughs> He's a goofy skull, that's for How sure. How many skulls does it take to make one of these anyway? A lot. Can you let me talk? Or are you gonna say ah, something? Joe Pitty, the man who taught me everything I know! Everything I know about evil! <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, the testers, sitting in a dark room with lava lamps, and they think it's heaven. Well, heck, so, I'd love to test again. I don't want to hear yeah. Maybe, are you really a lumberjack, or do you just like the plaid shirts? Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself! Yes, you do, Murray. Okay, go talk to somebody who cares. Shut up. Okay. Finish drifting down. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Will it never end? It will, if you let me talk. <coughs> All right. Play testers. All that pizza and no idea what kind of meat it was. Mystery meat pizza. You. All righty. Oh, and the cast. That's a filthy lie. This is my own voice. <laughs> Kevin Bruner. He's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you! Yes, you can talk, stop talking now so I can talk to my audience. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? 
I hope you are. Okay, so that was. Well, I hope uh, these people had something to do with it. That was Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter Three. You, yes, you. Special thanks to you. Alrighty, anywho. Tales. Boring. Yes, boring. Shut up. Finish drifting down. So that was Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter Three: The Lair of the Leviathan. We got lost, face bunch of. Face of burning face of hell. <laughs> At last, I alone rule the interface. Shut up. I have taken control, and none shall. Thank you. Alrighty, so that was Telltale Games, uh, The Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter Three, uh, Lair of the Le Lair of the Leviathan. Uh, Lair of the Leviathan. Hello, Winston. Right as rain now, Captain. As refreshed as my days as a cabana boy in Borneo. Uh, yeah, Captain's kind of knocked out. Sorry, Winslow. Captain? Oh, dear. And whack. Yeah, can't forget Winslow. Anywho. Uh, always love the series. Uh, as soon as I get all this loaded, gonna work on, uh, you know, playing the next chapter, of course. Wow, two hours worth of gameplay. Uh, obviously I'll cut that down into, uh, little bite-sized portions for you guys, so it's not all at once. Though, heck, if you want, go ahead and watch it all at once. I <laughs> don't really mind. Um, yeah, it's good to be back, uh, playing games and whatnot, uh. See you later in the next episode. Wow, I am kind of off on this one, but uh, oh well. Later, everybody.